Okay, we're seeing the Sika logo. Yeah, Sika Studios logo. Now we're Looney and Milky show. Okay, Looney and Milky, Looney versus Milky, the painting from 16th Looney and Milky episode. Uh, here, well, we we start. Uh, I'm starting with um, some lines. I'm drawing lines over the, um, the illustrations of the from the characters um, that that uh, were used on the animation. This um, this strokey illustration. Um, well, they're basic lines and these lines will be uh, for me to to, uh, to help me on the layout uh, as this um, uh, text uh, this was all like a, a sketchy uh, structure sketchy skeleton uh, these lines for, for the letters loony uh, versus Milky, Looney vs Milky. Uh, here uh, I, I, I am like painting over those those same lines from the, the letters of uh, their names. Here the the, the title uses uses their, their names. So now I'm painting over the the, the, the stroke lines for Looney. Um, now I'm filling the, those those letters with, um, with with some some color, and the same goes for the 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 Looney, uh, the, the, sorry the, the Milky name. I'm painting over those those strokes, and uh, as you can see in a second, uh, those strokes will be filled with with a color. And then there yeah, we have it, like the Looney and the Milky, uh, yeah, Looney versus Milky. Then the same, those sketchy uh, lines uh, from the drawings of Looney Freezer and Milky Goku. Um, as you can see, I'm like uh, arranging and rearranging those those same uh, parts from the, the sketchy illustrations that's uh, in order for, for the help me, on the help me out on the layout now I'm finally painting painting uh, as um, first uh, I'm, I, I'm keeping like the, the lines those sketchy lines uh, over the, um, uh, the, the, the layer where, where, where I started painting well uh, obviously, uh, I wasn't painting on a layer, but on several layers, uh, in order for, for me to have more options. Now I'm back to Looney Freezer, Looney Golden Freezer, and uh, I'm doing the same. I maintain, I kept the, the those sketchy lines in order to see where I would be painting, and uh, to help me out with that. Uh, and giving it some paint, uh, some basic uh, different tones of um, um, you know, like on the face and, and giving different tone to the lips, the nose and the eyes are red, they will be red and I'm doing some more detailed thing on the teeth uh, uh, now I'm like cleaning a little bit because those Painted um, shapes were a little messy. Now that I took those sketchy uh, guiding stroke, uh, black stroke lines, uh, I made it, uh, made it invisible. Now I'm like um, retouching a little bit the illustration in order for it to, to get better, not be that sketchy, that messy. As you can see, it's um, it's becoming a little cleaner, a little better. Um, uh, sometimes, as you can see, I um, bring bring those sketchy lines like in um, a layer with some half 
uh, some transparency in order for me to have uh, uh, an idea of what was my initial intention because only with the, the color um, it was like a, a little blurry I couldn't um, have the, 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 the idea uh, the clear idea now uh, so adding some details uh, now I'm back to the, um, the illustration from Milky Goku and doing the same here I'm like cleaning a little bit those those um, uh, painted shapes um, and cleaning them and adding uh, the uh, first step um, like on the, the, the first step of shadowing uh, this shadowing is like I, I did it on the previous character I'm doing it now on Milky Goku as you can see it's like um, um, shading in a very uh, like like you, uh, like uh, making still making an illustration uh, you know like like uh, drawing lines uh, this this first step uh, I made of, of shadowing is very like uh, drawing lines as you can see uh, not not uh, not very uh, concerned about where the light comes. Uh, not not very concerned about um, the, the um, uh, giving a death death or an, an volume to, to the character is more like uh, okay I'm adding a little uh, different tone uh, so you can say it's uh, shadowing but at the same time I'm doing that uh, in order for, for, for it to help me uh, have a clear uh, more clear uh, idea of the uh, what the illustration was like in, previously it was like in very sketchy lines but uh, still uh, I was like um, sculpturing uh, the, the illustration out with, with, with that uh, shadowing like uh, with, with strokes now I'm back to the, the, the text and I'm like uh, rearranging the layout uh, I'm it was like the uh, to see how the, the text uh, works with the characters now I'm like doing this uh, shattered rock effect uh, you may uh, identify it with uh, the shattered rock effect on the um, the, the logo from a very uh, famous character, a very dear character to us all, that is the Hulk. Uh, um, the, the, I, I don't know if uh, they, they keep the, the same logo, but the, um, on the previous issues, uh, issues I, I don't know if it was the 90s, and, and before the 90s the Hulk logo was like this uh, shatter rock with um, the, um, the, the name of the character in, like in, in perspective and I, I, I was going for it uh, I thought okay uh, I, I want to, to experiment a little bit on that uh, my intention was to, to have the, the, the name from the character's name of, <coughs> of Looney um, up, uh, up on the, the canvas and the Milky, uh, the name of Milky uh, down the canvas um, like almost um, um, uh, taking 50/50 uh, of the of the the, the, the canvas uh, space, and uh, having uh, having it like uh, simulating a little bit the, the, that uh, that same Hulk logo effect, like um, giving it like a strong uh, strong tone, and um, well. Yeah, I, I, I was going for that. Now I'm back to, to the VS. I'm, I'm painting the, the VS, and uh, in a moment I'll be painting the um, the circle around the VS and the thunder, as you will see. 
Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, now I'm just arranging it. Uh, in a couple of moments I'll be painting that because, uh, as you can see, it's very clean and I want to I wanted to, to live in the, the, the same world as the the, the painting uh, of, of the, these two characters. The same goes for, for the text as, and uh, as you can see uh, the loony and milky text effect is like very uh, detailed. Uh, well, but now we're back to the characters. As uh, I was saying, the, the text was becoming a little bit uh, too detailed uh, on, on that shutter rock effect. So um, uh, I went for 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 more more detailed um, uh, like um, approach on on these characters. And so now I'm on the second stage of shadowing. Now it's more like um, um, giving giving more depth depth to 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 the character. As you can see, these shadows are are like um, uh, almost like uh, making a sculpture. They 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 are like um, uh, making a major. Uh, major um, uh, alterations to the um, ma major changes to to the um, to the character, as you can see. And um, uh, on the hair, I was like using um, a darker tone, almost like a black. Um, here on the kimono, I'm doing the same. Uh, it's more like. Um, a easier thing for for me many i know that many illustrators uh, do, do the same like using uh, a tone to to do the shadowing and then uh, they they pick on the the, um, the same shadings and they change the, the level and the tone uh, make turning it into uh, another color color more similar to to what they they um they want to end up with. Uh, well, as you can see, the the, the painting is, uh, is 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 gaining uh, uh, more weight, weight, uh, more, more 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 depth, and um, uh, well, uh, that, that was the idea all along. But uh, it's it's cool to to see it uh, taking shape. And um, well, as you can see in the kimono, I, I wasn't using orange. Now I'm changing the, the level of the, the, the tone, uh, of the, and I made it orange. Now I'm back to Looney uh, Freezer, and here I'm shading, giving a lot of of, of um, like almost gray uh, shading. Um, now I'm like selecting and making, uh, putting it on another layer. And as you can see, I turned it like in more orange-oriented tone. Um, it fits better with, um, works really better with, with uh, the, the golden theme uh, because we made it like uh, um, I went for for uh, Looney Freeze. On the well, these characters live uh, on Dragon Ball Super uh, universe, not on the Dragon Ball Z universe. So Frieza is uh, Golden Frieza, and Goku is clearly uh, Goku Super Saiyan Blue. Uh, now I'm messing with the, the, the flames, the power of flames. On the Looney Freeze, I used the power of flames like in yellow, and Goku using in blue. Now, back to the thunder. Thunder, <laughs> as I said, I, I painted it. I uh, like to, to be more on the, the world, same world as these characters. Um, as you can see, the, 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 the thunder there is dividing the, the, the canvas. Uh, between the, the two of them, but uh, I wasn't 
very certain about the layout. Now I'm back to the letters and I'm um, giving even more detail um, uh, on the, the direction of that uh, Hulk logo. Um, it's it's becoming more like having the, the wave and the depth of the, the of rocks. Like there really were rocks and now I'm playing a little bit with the shades from those rocks, like uh, giving it the, the set depth. And now I'm just playing around with the, the shattered effect on the, the letters. And as you can see, uh, as you will see, uh, I will take a step back because uh, it was the, the letters uh, were, were gaining a lot more detail in comparison with the characters, so I blurred a little bit the, the, the yellow on the letters and like blank. Uh, kind of blank the, that shadow as you can see now, and I kind of blank the the the, the, the shadow rock effect. But as you can see, I think that with that the the, the characters and the letters kind of uh, seem like living more on the same 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 world. Uh, they 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 fit better one with the other. Now I was. Um, well, now I'm giving a, a, a new, a new set, of, set of, of um, shadows to, to the, the character and messing around with um, with um, the glowy flames, like uh, adding uh, a new layer to it and giving some velocity to the characters, and I uh, played a little bit with tones in order for them to to, to fuse the, the, the characters, fuse the, all the elements. I went for red, I went for green, uh, in order to, to, to see what worked better. And, uh, well, for, for Looney, it worked better in red, and for Milky, it worked red, better in green, as you can see. So, it's still like that. And it kind of looked up, up like that. Well, uh, but hope you like this uh, step by step speed paint with the voiceover. I don't know if the voiceover was, was helpful, if uh, it was entertaining or, or just plain boring. Uh, well, uh, you may comment uh, on, on the video um, and say your mind, say what you, what you think about this. Uh, if you like the video, you can click the like button. Uh, we, we would appreciate it. And if you haven't already, well, Please subscribe if you like this content and if you like uh, and you want to support Lunia Milk. And well, until the next speed paint or episode or uh, Lunia and Milky uh, animation, well, be animated.